If you are looking for easy, healthy snacks, perfect for taking to school or for enjoying after, you've come to the right place. Food expert Shauna Thomas has some easy, delicious snack recipes that will keep kids and adults of any age satisfied. I'm just going to declare it. I love them already. Shauna, great to have you. <laughs> Thank you. So happy to be here. Okay, so you've made some homemade snack options. We've mm -hmm. got pizza muffins on display first. Before you oh, yeah. tell me anything, I'm going to put up the QR code so everyone can scan the recipe and make it at home. Uh, these pizza muffins had literally the crew stopping to ask about them. <laughs> tell me about Yes. Them. So these are incredible. Sometimes you don't want a sweet snack, right? Mm -hmm. We make a lot of muffins at home. I know I make a lot of banana chocolate chip muffins and Blueberry things like muffin. that. Blueberry okay. muffins, totally. These are for your kids that really like those savory snacks. Um, the great thing about them is they're a basic muffin recipe, really easy to make, the flour, the baking soda, all of those things. Um, but what is sneaky about them is we put in some blended cottage cheese oh, right and on. some grated carrot. So we have a little extra protein, a little extra fiber, Amazing. and they just taste like pizza. There's can some I oregano. Try? Oh my gosh, please do. Okay. Um, what's really fun about them too is you can break them up, send them to school with a little marinara sauce, a little oh, tomato sauce. Chris, so you yeah. can dip them too, which is really fun yeah. for kids, right? Make it as fun as possible. But that extra fiber, extra protein mm. is going to fill them up keep mm -hmm. them full, give them mm -hmm. that energy that they need. Um, and what's more fun than pizza? I mean, it's great. Mm -hmm. You can also meal prep these and make these in advance oh, you and put totally them in the freezer, freezer right? Yeah, yeah. So no, I love that, that I love as well. Because having things on hand in that rushed morning when you're making lunches. No, you just need to. Yeah, so awesome. these are really great for that. Speaking of making ahead, you have a nut-free date square. How did you make this? Yes. Yeah, so nut-free, obviously very important, right? When we're talking about school. So these are a pretty basic date square recipe, but what I love about this one is you you take a whole block of dates. You know how you can buy just mm -hmm. that block of them? And you cook it with coffee. Coffee? Coffee. So you don't have to worry about the caffeine in kids because it's only about a cup of coffee. But what it does is it really brings out that sweetness of the dates, the flavor of the dates. You add a little vanilla in there and you won't believe the difference between like a regular date square and this one when you're making it with coffee. It is so, so good. Plus, there's a cup and a half of oats in here. So again, that fiber, right? You're going to fill those kids up and these are really nice and sweet. So okay. I absolutely love these. Can I try one of these? Yes. So we have two different sizes here. You can cut them nice and small for the kids or for us. <laughs> you go a little media. Yeah. I know, of course I grabbed the big one. Oh yeah, of mm. course. And this is something I love to have in the afternoon mm. with a coffee. So you mm -hmm. can double batch this, make it for yourself, make it for your kids. Mm. Um, I absolutely love this recipe. Date squares are such a winner. I love them. Love them so much. They're really great too when you're trying to have a conversation. Yes, totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, no, awesome. Okay, our mm -hmm. last option, we've got a nut-free seed bar and these look really, really yummy. Yes. Yeah, so again, nut-free, really important, but these ones have all of the these delicious elements in here. So we have pepitas, which are a hulled pumpkin seed. Okay. Um, and they actually have lots of protein and fiber and iron in there as well. Right so on. really great for kids. Chia seeds, which again, there's protein, there's calcium. The, they're so good for you. Sunflower seeds, hemp hearts. Again, three tablespoons of hemp hearts have 10 grams of protein. So really? I absolutely love those. And for sweetness, we have some dried cranberries. There's a little maple syrup in there. And we top it with some flaky salt. So you have that sweet and salty component. How do you make it all stick together? Because so, that's like the secret of a homemade granola bar. It is, and especially when you're going nut-free, it can be really difficult, right? Because peanut butter is like the ultimate binder. So there is an egg in here, um, and then we use coconut oil as well. And oh, those okay. elements, plus the chia seeds, they soak everything up and keep everything together. Mm. Um, and everything is just so delicious. I love these bars so, mm. so much. And if Ooh. you don't like cranberries, you can add in a different dried fruit. Mm -hmm. um, but having all of these different seeds in there are going to give you kids again that protein mm -hmm. and fiber that's going to fill them up keep them full and they're going to be happy all day long these are great after school as mm -hmm. well before like extracurricular activities to really fuel your kids up i feel like you could even throw like a chocolate chip in there if you oh to. you could mm. if you wanted to absolutely so good Always chocolate chips are going to be a winner. I know, right? right? Yeah, definitely. I did the thing again where I took a gigantic yeah. bite. So <laughs> forgive me while I drop with my mouth full. Um, Shauna, thanks so much for being here today. My pleasure. You can find all these <laughs> recipes today by scanning the QR code. And I tell you, they're awesome. Thanks again, Shauna. My pleasure. Happy to be here. Thanks, Kelsey. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.